What's going on everybody, Lambo here, and today I'm answering a question that was left on one of my modding tutorials. And the question is from, how do I take a mod from FS22 website and open it up in Blender? There are a few vehicles on Mod Hub I have seen that I like and would love to experiment around with. Well, Darren, today I will show you how to export out, and I picked kind of a somewhat complicated one, because here you will see this basic in-game thingamajiggy and it has all this gunk underneath it all this stuff so if you go to export it out this is actually going to create kind of a nightmare inside blender so what i'd like to do is leave this here but hit Control and c to copy it click off of it click on somewhere here on the scenograph and then hit Control v to paste now that we have it pasted let's just delete this stuff and now we have just the visual you can see all right and what we're going to do is we're going to export that out but before we do that we're going to click on preferences let's just make sure that you got the right stuff set now save and export as wave obj and this is basically just an object we'll go down here to scale normally when you very first download your giants editor this will say 100 you do not want that you'll go to import it into your blender and it'll be 100 times bigger so we want to make sure that that's at one after you have that selected, we'll hit apply, then close. Make sure that the TD200 or whatever your model is selected. You can do individual parts as well. Say you wanted to do just the hoses and change the hoses a little bit. We'll select that, go up to file. We'll go to Ep export selection. From export selection, go to here to save as type. And you'll select wave file OBJ. Once we got that selected, we'll go in and just give it a generic name. Now it's exported. My next advice is open up your Blender or whatever your 3D software choice is. I use old school Blender 2.79 because I'm old. Once we got that open, we're going to go to File, Import, Wave, Front, OBJ. Once we have that found, now we need to track down where we exported out that thing. And it is right there, export.obj. We'll import that in and bingo, wingo. Now you have that whole model in here. And you can see that there's some parts and pieces that look like they're floating, but uh, that's because we pulled out sections of it. We didn't get all of it. And you could sit there and import in every individual little piece. Sometimes it works perfectly if you just did it with it, but it'll import in all these transform groups and silly stuff like that. So that's the way that I like to do it. Let's say we do our work. Let's say I want this silly stuff. I'm just going to highlight some objects here. And then hit control V by selection. And you don't have to do this. I just wanted to show you. So now we have that. We will go up to file, export, Giants i3D. Now you do have to have the Giants i3D exporter installed, which when you have it installed, you'll be able to click up here at Giants i3D. Click on that. Now you can scroll down from this little side tab and you'll see Giants i3D exporter. Before I export, I like to hit attributes. I like to make sure if it's not supposed to be a collision, then I'll just leave it as is. And But the big one here that I always click is cast shadows, receive shadows, just to make it a little easier. And then I'll add a clip distance of like, let's say 300. After we have that selected, we will select the object we want to export. We'll hit apply selected. And now that is applied to that part. It is not applied to that part, only that part. We'll go to export. And you could use the normal Blender file name, but for your first time exporting out of here, you need to set a file path before using that. So we'll click on here, Giants i3D export. We'll go to where we want to export it to, and we'll name it my export just for simplicity's sake. And then we'll hit export. From there, we can jump back into Giants editor, go up here to import, import in my export. And now this is 100% in here now. And I tried to make this as quick as I could, under five minutes. That's how you import out and import in. And if you end up needing the Giants i3D exporter, I will leave a link down in the description below on where you can go download that from Giants themselves. Thank you so much for watching. If you're looking for more tutorial videos, make sure to hit the like button so it tells Google that you like to mod. All right, thanks guys. Have a good one.